wife only suffered from a slight concussion, but the greatest harm was done to the unborn child, clearly, the baby could not be saved. Upon hearing this result, Paul was instantly dumbfounded. Shortly after, the police chief came to inform him that the thugs had already been caught by his colleagues. Paul pretended to be calm at this moment, but inside he wished he could butcher those thugs immediately. When night fell, as his wife peacefully slept, Paul quietly left the hospital. Before long, he was back at the police station alone. Those scumbags were locked up in a metal cage, but Paul silently pulled down the blinds. The clueless thugs, who didn't know any better, mocked him, thinking he might be the husband of the pregnant woman. They believed that now they were protected by the law, and the police officer in front of them couldn't do anything, but they underestimated a man's anger. Without hesitation, Paul pulled out the tools found in their car, then carefully selected a weapon that suited him. However, the bald man remained stubborn, not only insulting Paul's mother, but also claiming he wasn't afraid of him. This completely provoked a man's pride. Following that, Paul approached the cages of the two accomplices. By now, they were panicking. Just then, Paul calmly opened the iron door, and made a promise to them. If they could endure it, they could go home.